All right, so it's March 30, and it's uh, just about 10 after 3 in the afternoon. And it is gorgeous out here. It's hot. It's actually 9 or 10 degrees today. And the sun is shining beautifully. And I thought I would come out, seeing as we're all dried up here, and uh, take a close look at the garden. So you can see that there's a lot of leaves in there. I'm going to have to clean all that out. And that comes from the neighbor's tree right there. And last year, I didn't wait. I got all this junk out, but then we got those little helicopters from the maple tree right over there. And I had already planted, and it was a real bugger trying to get those out in between all the plants. And I'll tell you, I had some pretty good maple seedlings going on in the garden last year. So, everybody remembers that that fence there points to the east, so the length, the back length there, that's the east side of my garden. Towards the house and the shed, that's the north. So this end right here will be the north end. Right up front here is the west side, which is facing the west wall, my neighbors to the west, and you remember I had some buckets that were hanging up on that wall last year, which didn't really do that well. Um, and then the park, which is the south end, so right at this end here where these pots are, is my south end. So uh, yeah, I got quite a bit of cleaning up to do. All those bricks that I left lined up at the back, they're all coming out because I want to uh, line up tomatoes and cucumbers and peas up along that fence and maybe try and use that fence as a kind of trellis type thing and anything left over from the fence that I'm going to be putting around to keep out you know who is going to also be used for trellising material so uh, yeah I got uh, these pots here that I don't know if I'm going to do anything these um, planter boxes. I'm not sure. I'm going to be using one more because at least one more because I just finished planting some herbs in one of them and I'm going to need another. So let's just head on back up to the house. Now I'm going to be doing some buckets again this year but I am going to use potting soil instead of what was um, in the garden because that stuff I think is just way too heavy. And if I'm lucky I'll get enough dirt to um, kind of offset that in the garden as well. Now this is my dill from last year. It's all dead and dried up. So anyways, um, yeah, so here's my pot that I just planted. I literally just finished doing that about 10 minutes ago. And so what I've got is lemon basil, Thai basil, sage, tarragon and sweet marjoram all in that one pot. Those are going to be for my herb basket. If you saw my uh, plan for that on the uh, blog I put up a picture of how that's going to plan out. And I started hardening off today. Now we've had um, negative temperatures last week. I think Monday we got up to maybe one degree. Yesterday we got up to five, but other than that we were looking at minus eight, minus two, minus five last week. So I today's the first day that I'm actually doing the hardening off. And they've been out here for a couple of hours now. I guess they're supposed to be one hour on the first day, but it's so warm out that I uh, wasn't really too, too bothered, but they're going in in a few minutes. So, yeah, so that is the update for the next post, which I will get to before the end of the week. Hopefully I will do that tonight, but no promises because you all know how I like to change my mind. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the blog.